ready for some gambling, folks. And finally, it's of age. Yes, I can finally gamble, and I'm of legal age. No longer will that excuse hold me back. Now I will gamble as much as I want. But welcome, yes, to Casino Night Zone, the first real, I guess, uh, gambling sort of trope that was introduced for the Sonic the Hedgehog series that sort of continued in Sonic 3 with Carnival Night Zone, but not too much. Now, one thing that I really, really love about Sonic 2 is that there are so many branching pathways that you can go through that you can take shortcuts, you can get to the ends of stages faster than ever, or you can just explore around the stages too. It's a fun thing to do, and that's something I really love that Sonic 2 does. Sonic 2 is what I consider to be a perfect sequel. It takes an original concept, the original concept, and refines it to making it better. That's what sequels should do. They should refine the gameplay and fix the flaws that the original one had. And I think the classic Sonic games all the way up through Sonic 3 and Knuckles really did that. Uh, Sonic CD was okay, but that was marred by a couple of other problems. And if you're playing the original one on the Sega CD, a little bit of physics problems, but that's another story. Haha, -ha, I am feeling lucky. And away we go. Okay, what I said was away we go. There we are. Oh, invincibility and that. Now, Tails following us around, there actually is an option to where you can turn that off if you go into the options and just play a Sonic alone. That's what you generally should do if you're going for Chaos Emeralds. Why is that? It's because inside the special stages for the half pipes, you have to collect rings. And if you have Tails with you, he can collect rings too. Oh, that sounds very useful. Well, there are bombs there. You hit the bombs, you'll lose rings. Guess whose AI is but stupid in the special stages? It's a two-tailed fox that's a pun on miles per hour. Yeah. That's not fun to do. So if you're ever going for Chaos Emeralds, don't bring tails in. Just save yourself the agony and just play as Sonic. That will make your life so much easier. Doesn't make it easier when you come back out and all your rings are gone for some odd reason, which for some odd reason is fixed when you plug in Sonic 2 into Sonic and & Knuckles and play as Knuckles because they made the game easier as Knuckles for some odd reason. I guess that's to compensate for the fact that he can't jump as high, so the final boss for Sonic 2 is actually a little bit more cha challenging because of that. But let's get to the end of Casino Night Zone, shall we? It's, this is always a fun stage. I still remember the first time I got to the stage. I thought all the neon lights and everything in the background looked amazing. Because, remember, this is a five-year-old Roxas here getting impressed. 1999, yeah, the PlayStation 1's out, but he doesn't have that. Oh, no, he's got himself a Sega Genesis. And soon he would have himself a Dreamcast. And then he would cry because the Dreamcast got its support cuts. Anyway, what I'm trying to do right now is I'm pretty much just trying to build up rings to get lives because what I like to do in the beginning whenever I play Sonic uh, 2, I always like to build up lives. I like to build up for the whole game at least 12 lives as that makes me feel comfortable for a later zone. Anyway, I'm trying to avoid the slot machine right there because you can get some Robotniks that make you lose all your rings. And seeing as how I've gotten lucky twice, I'm not gonna challenge fate. Instead, I'm going to get stuck inside here for a while because I bounced in there. Now watch as Tails completely glitches out with his sprite. Every time I go in here, Tails goes around and then shoots back, but because of how the slope detection is on uh, I was going to call it Carnival Night Zone. That's not like three Roxas. In Casino Night Zone, it kind of acts weird with Tails when he spawns in, as you can see right there. He was doing weird gestures. That was his gesture for when he falls off. And I don't know why the game's constantly doing that. But let us go down. 
And we're at the end of the stage, so let's go and fight a fancy neon robotnik. Well, hopefully keeping all of our rings so that I can get another continue. Ooh, fancy. This is the only time his, uh, technically I guess you would call it egomatic inside these games, is, you know, like this. Pretty much what he does is drops mines, they have a little splash explosion. What you can do is you can do a spin dash on the side, jump, and then hit him. That's usually the best way. You can use the flippers to hit him, but I don't recommend it. The electricity can hurt you. He sometimes will come down and try to play a little crane game with Sonic. But here I'm going well. I'm going, okay, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. Oh, I missed him. All right. Just got to watch out. Don't want to lose my rings. Oh, I missed him again. I'll get you eventually, in a robot, Nick. I'll get you. And, ha ha! Oh no! I hate you, Robot Nick. Especially because you're only two hits away from dying, and there you go. Goodbye, fancy neon egomatic. Uh, we will never see you again, which kind of makes me sad because I love it. But, time for what I always do at the end of the stage spin dash. Is That's just a muscle memory. I don't know why I do that. It's. I just have to rev spin dash up. And it just sounds so good. But now, it looks like we're going back to my high school. I went to Hilltop. That's the joke. And welcome to Hilltop Zone, which I will honestly say, aesthetically, this is what I consider to be the most boring zone in the game. Yeah, I don't like Hilltop Zone too much. It's not because the level's bad or anything. The level's actually rather easy and simple to get through. I just find the aesthetics boring. Especially coming from, you know, Casino Night Zone, where I had a bunch of cool, like, neon lights everywhere. This is just mountainous sides again. Yay. Anyway, I'm trying to get up there because I want that monitor. So I'm just, I'm just gung-ho determined to get that monitor. I will get you. Okay, you know what? I won't get you. Fine. Okay, I will, uh, let's, let's try that again. And completely go right next to the spikes, that works too. I think the other reason why I hate this stage is because it returns the seesaws back. I'm not a fan of the seesaws. I wasn't a fan of them inside Sonic 1, not a fan of them in Sonic 2. Even though they technically only appear inside this stage. And at least I don't have to use them in a boss fight. So I should count my chickens now before they hatch in. Goodbye, Tails! You know, Tails is a trooper. Invincible, going into lava, getting crushed, falling into pits. And yet he still follows Sonic like some determined or crazy person. Oh, Tails. So admirable for an eight-year-old. So you gonna land anytime soon? Or, or, or are you just gonna keep flying? I mean, I can keep doing this for a while. Maybe that's what Sonic 2 is really about. Maybe this is just, instead of Sonic trying to stop Dr. Robotnik and his newly, uh, you know, constructed death egg, which is the entire plot of this game, he's just trying to avoid this kid who's following him, and he's just going through all these different zones to try and avoid this kid. And that's the true reason why we're running through this game. We're trying to run from the kid, but we just can't seem to get away. All right, so. Now we have invincibility and we just wait. I don't think I've ever gone through this stage without getting invincibility at least once. But we've already been inside this stage for two minutes and 30 seconds. Yeesh, we've been inside this stage for a while. Why don't we get rid of this first act now, shall we? Yep. And I love this right here. <laughs> it looks like Tails is like, wait up, Sonic! And that's another continue. What is that? Like, continue number, what, five? Four? It's four or five. I lose track. But now to Hilltop Zone 2. Ah, uh, great. Now we go into the high school. Yeah. Yeah, Hilltop was the name of my elementary school, middle school, and high school. I actually live really close to them, and the district for them, oh boy, was it a corrupt mess. Nothing's better than your senior year when all members of the board for the superintendent are caught for money embezzlement. <sighs> Nothing's just greater than that. But enough about money embezzlement, we're playing Sonic! 
which means we gotta go fast and get this shield. Follow me, Tails! That's not following me, Tails, that's following to your death. This fox has a death wish. He really needs to stop that. Oh, he's back. All right, so lava rising means we gotta get the hell out of here. There's another shield on the bottom. I ended up passing it, but what I really want is the invincibility that's right here. The lava's gonna continue to rise. I believe it will rise to the top ceiling and then it will crush you, but I could be wrong. So, good thing the revved up spin dash allows me to defy physics. Seriously, if that didn't happen, then I probably would have fallen into that pit and died. All right, going up. And I'm thinking that there was something inside there, but there wasn't. So, time to ride the little gondolas, which somebody had to put up, and then they are going to be pissed when they see that they've been used and have fallen into lava. Of course, I'm just gonna blame it on Tails. Tails did it. All right, speaking of Tails, where did he go? Either way, another life, so we're at the 12 lives, which means I am comfortable, which is great. It's a little bit later than normal, but oh well. But we're at the end of Hilltop Zone, so let's fight Robotnik in lava. Not as, you know, completely shut out as the last one, but yeah, still not as that challenging. Still, at least it's no chemical plant zone. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. This is Roxas 1359. Next time, we're gonna go into some spooky caves, which contain one of the most infamous things in Sonic the Hedgehog 2.